guys. So I am going to kind of get the second bulkhead placed uh, as far as dimension wise. I'm going to get everything marked out right now. Um, I got to cut the peel ply on both sides, obviously. We still have to do the uh, the fiberglass on the deck seams. I just vacuumed everything, so it's fairly clean now. Um, everything is measured from the bow, the extreme bow. Uh, the first bulkhead was X measurement, and everything's kind of measured from like that point back now. So I'm just going to measure right off that that first bulkhead uh, to our second bulkhead. Uh, we'll install this one. We'll get all the walls pulled back in because they did spring just a little bit when I released the build forms, the uh, build frames. Um, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a, a template kind of laid out pretty soon here for that. Um, I have the bulkhead kind of laying, leaning up against the hull here. It's ready to go in. Um, just got to cut up the size. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of get measurements same way I did before. Uh, measure back i have my string running across and all i have is a uh, weight on either side i think i got a hammer on one side and uh, a clamp on the other just hanging there just to keep it kind of taut um from there i'll take my plumb bob drop it down get marks all the way around and uh we should be good to go I am thanking my lucky stars that I somehow saw this, but as you can see, Carl is pretending to drive the boat here. Just thought I'd throw that out there. guys so that is our official bulkhead mark don't mind the string it's off right here and all the way down and my shadow's probably screwing this up all the way across into the other hull and back up so from here it's time to make another template uh lay it on that uh raw bulkhead over there uh draw out the main hull shape just like we did before uh, just in case there's any discrepancies in the two hulls and then uh once we get that point this bulkhead actually sticks about a foot higher than the edge of the gunnel here um so once we get everything kind of marked and in place uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to mark the last little bit while it's glued in or if i'll mark it on the ground and cut it in place um it might be better to do well it's after it's glued in place only because then there's no chance that it's going to move afterwards as far as like level plumb anything like that so we're going to get prepped up to do some glass in this this weekend on all the hull seams uh we're going to overlap our previous fiberglass probably by uh, a foot foot and a half um just for safe keepings you don't even have to go that far but uh peace of mind uh, i do have to hit everything real quick with the palm sander just to scuff it up uh give everything a little bit of tooth for the next layer of glass and yeah go from there so that'll be the plan for the weekend hope you guys uh enjoy the show please uh like share and subscribe it doesn't cost a thing all right ladies and gentlemen we have our bulkhead 2 template out uh this is the panel that we did over the winter at a friend's house because it was too big to do here um still oversized so uh what i'll do is i'm going to trace everything out right now i'm going to flip this over see how symmetrical everything is um, I'm going to get a center mark on my bridge deck here. Um, from this point, I should be able to put a square on here and square up. And I will then run my distance from the center mark to either side so everything stays somewhat symmetrical here. Um, and then, like I say, if I have to pull those walls in just a little bit, it shouldn't hurt anything. If it's extremely exaggerated, uh, I might just split the difference. We're still within our trailerable width for the beam. Uh, I think right now I measured across and the beam was only eight foot four. I have up to eight foot six to play with. Again, I'm trying to stay with the prints as close as we can, but I don't want to put too much pressure on those panels trying to pull them. Like I said, I'm just gonna lay this out real quick and then we'll go from there. Flimsy 
there I did put these braces in so it can stay kind of in place while so moving it around. All should be right on. show you here um, I don't know how well you can see this line but this line here that runs underneath the panel kind of hard to see but runs all the way down to the corner now my corners are good um, and the line at the top is good this is where we had the bow and the panel these pieces that I had glued on um, so we should be able to push and pull these panels a little bit to take any bow out, any flex. Uh, so, and over here, it actually looks pretty good if you go from the, uh, again, we're not lined up perfectly, but if we go from this first cleat where, the, where there was a gap, we follow this line pretty much straight up. On the second one, I mean, we're pretty close to lined up, give or take 3 16ths of an inch here. Um, the top is way off, but I know that panel did curve out at the top of the panel so that's not a big deal there i can pull that in um the rest of it as long as i can get a straight line here i'll be happy and then kind of the same thing here as long as i can get a straight line i might remark with the bow is on these panels here on the port side um and then kind of just find a happy medium there between the two and uh again then I'll, i'm going to run a, a square up and i'll measure and see what it is for uh, a beam at that point. What's happening here? What's happening here? We are getting ready to cut bulkhead number two. <laughs> All right, so I traced out my template. Uh, I squared up. From the center line on the bridge deck here, I squared up. Uh, that gives me center line of the hull of the whole boat itself. Uh, um, in the prints, we were able to determine that from center line of hull to the edge of this panel should be 49 and say 49 and a half inches, 49.41 inches uh, from center line over on either side. So it's a total of 98.82 inches. Uh, so say, just again, say 99 inches, that's eight foot three for easy figuring. Um, so we measured from our center line over on either side, and that's where we're gonna make our walls, all right? I have the bottom corners of the hulls set in stone. Those aren't gonna flex. But everything else here has quite a bit of flex in it from, from the spring when I release those screws. So we should be able to get all this back into place pretty pretty easily here. Um, I did mark the top of the hull panels when I made the templates. I marked it on the template itself, so I just transferred that onto here. And Cassie and I snapped the line right across, and that will give us our reference later on as to where we need to start all of our angles and stuff. Yeah. That it? I think that's pretty much it. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it straight up to the corner. And again, after we get it glued in place, we will determine what our step in is here. And then there's a slight step up before it goes across. We also have to cut a door in after we get it in place on the port side. Uh, there'll be a door over there cut in place as well. We kind of want to get it in place before we do that just yeah. to make sure we're in uh, And get a position. feel for it too. Exactly. All right, so what we're gonna do is we have to gouge out the core material, the foam, uh, from this area here, basically. Uh, we're gonna taper it down to nothing on this end, taper it down to nothing on this end, and the middle is gonna be one layer, one rolled up tube of fiberglass. And we did the same thing on the transom. Reason for it is uh, our door actually comes somewhere around this area here comes down and this strip right here is only about three to four inches wide uh so doing this actually like reinforces the whole area to kind of stabilize it a little bit more um 
so yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna gouge it out. I have a 3 8 inch burr tool, a uh, round burr tool, works great for this. Same one we used on the transom. Sa same exact steps we used on the transom. If you guys wanna go back and check out those videos, they're pretty good. I'll put a card right here. <laughs> card? Yeah. The link? No, a card. Oh, it's a card? Yes, I oh, will okay. put a card right Sorry. here. I don't know the terminology yet. All right, so that's the plan. <laughs> Okay, so this ends tape it up to just about nothing here, and then down to full depth. And we'll do the same thing here. So we fill this little channel with a little bit of thickened epoxy. Yeah, we'll just put a, just a touch, not much. Yeah, just tiny, tiny, little bit, and then yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll actually flip this whole bulkhead up on its back to make life extra easy, get everything in place. Uh, we're gonna grab a couple of boards that are X long, some tape on it, so we can push everything in, tape it down. Yep. I'm a genius. Did I roll it too tight? So it's hard to see, but what I did is I laid the sausage into the groove we made. We had to flip this upside down, um, lay the sausage in. We put a little bit of thickened epoxy below it between the sausage and the foam. Uh, a real thin thickened epoxy. One, to absorb into the, uh, into the foam, and two, to take up any gas that we might end up with. Uh, I then proceeded to tape everything down the best I can. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, same procedure as the transom. Yeah. It worked out well for us then, so yeah. yeah. Repeat. So. Yay, but, we love sausages. Yeah, this one wasn't bad. Uh, but everything just. Everything else is, you know, fighting us today. Yeah. But. All right. That's it. So we'll let that dry overnight, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be cooling the bulkhead. Okay. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Watch your fingers and I can't see you. I know. Pencil. Are you recording me? Yeah, I sure oh. am. Just, you know. So this is the stuff we have to go through because we're building a boat. And we don't have floors in. And, well, I can't put the floors until the bulkheads are in, so. Right. <sighs> so, yeah, this is all just kind of hanging there over my head while I prep all the stuff to glue this in. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trials and tribulations of boat building in your backyard. It's all good. We got this. <laughs>
and Carl is prepping the hull for the thickened epoxy so we can set the bulkhead in. on the back side here ready to go uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some epoxy we're gonna epoxy the whole thing in and then I'm just gonna take some glue box and glue it to uh, push the bulkhead tight and glue it up against uh, that way I don't have to try to slide it into place um, what I'll do is I'll just jack this whole bulkhead up a couple inches set it on a couple of two by fours and go from there um, all in all our templates give us a pretty tight fit small gap here which we should be able to pry out that's only maybe a quarter of an inch and everything else looks really good on this bulkhead so it's really tight all the way around should be a pretty straight flip forward glue up yeah. don't forget to like share subscribe comment and thank you to all our subscribers because we finally hit that 1000 mark yeah. <laughs> and we want to thank everybody who is watching us on a weekly basis so thank you spread the word What you see me doing right now is just taking any excess thickened epoxy we had from the bulkhead install and putting that into any gaps in the motor wells. We had the excess, so we figured why not. All right, guys, so I'm an idiot and I forgot to hit the record button. But what I'm doing now is uh, taking out the last of the build frames, the wooden build frames. Uh, I already took out half of it and I'm not putting it back in for show because it's just way too much work. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yesterday we glassed, uh, we epoxied our bulkhead in, our bulkhead number two. Uh, this is going to be the door where kind of where this peel ply is here. Uh, there'll be a cut out there to go into the berth area and our helm should be over in this section here uh a little dashboard and stuff uh again everything has to get trimmed up at the top here see i'm on the front and these still have to get permanently glassed into uh tabbed into place but for now i'm just gonna get these next two bulkheads out and uh well last last build frame out here let's give it a quick cleanup and we'll have a good idea of kind of where that last bulkhead will go at that point and uh kind of get a feel for everything uh it's really starting to feel a little bit more like a boat now which is cool um again we still have a lot of work to do uh, i have to go back and clean up all the drips here there's like a big drip here over here some more drips down on the side here so i'll get at it with the grinder one night this week uh clean everything up and we'll be able to actually glass the rest of the hull in place uh i still have to do three more layers of glass on the transom and the motor wells uh that's coming uh the main concern right now i think i'm just i just want to get all the hull joints glassed and get the bulkheads in place because that'll stiffen up these side walls uh they move quite a bit i'm leaning on this one right now but they do move pretty easily in and out right now so uh, i want to stiffen everything up kind of get everything locked in and then uh i'll take the time after that to uh glass in the transom the motor wells so that's kind of the plan for now uh thanks for watching guys be sure to like share and subscribe uh we're always open for comments too uh 
constructive criticisms, anything, uh, anything you guys can think of. Uh, you know, we got pretty thick skin, so don't be afraid to uh, to comment. We definitely uh, take everything, and if there's stuff we miss, we do the research and, and try to uh, up our game a little bit. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks to all of our subscribers out there, and uh, that's it for now. No one cares about Carl talking because it's such a beautiful sunset. <laughs> it will be. I'm kidding. We'll, uh...